Good day, everyone. Uh, I'm Frank Poon, head of the Insico Madison's Hong Kong office, where we focus on the AI-driven target discovery. Recently, we published a paper in Aging titled Biomedical GPT, based transformer language model for age-related disease target discovery. With me today are our first author of the paper, Diana. Can you briefly introduce your BioGPT paper on what is the significance of this study? Thank you. Yeah, sure. We just published a paper in Asian Journal and it's related on the usage of LLMs or large language models on the target discovery. So uh, large language models already have shown that they have amazing opportunities for solving different tasks, but still there is a challenge of efficiently extract information from them. So we tried to address this challenge and we develop an approach how we could extract the information from large language models and apply this information for therapeutic target discovery, specifically in aging. So during our work, we actually discovered several unique properties of LLMs that could be useful for further AI research. And one of them that even if you have a domain specific large language model, it was to train with additional information uh, that is related for your task. So for example, we used uh, BioGPT. This is a language model developed by Microsoft and it was trained on PubMed texts that already bi biology specific, but we have really unique task. We need to have to discover new, new therapeutics. So we decided to train our model with additional corpus of texts from National Institute of Health to have this task specific text. And in our validation, we have shown that uh, performance of BioGPT have been boosted. Uh, certainly, there are, uh, the importance of our uh, work in its results because we actually focused on uh, identification of dual effect targets that could both fight aging and intervene in 14 age-related diseases. And we found uh, two, among other results, uh, we also found two potential anti-aging targets that were not previously described. So we show that uh, large language models have an opportunity to um, have to extract novel information uh, when the problem of information extracted uh, is tackled properly. Um, you know, I was deeply impressed by the first time I saw the results. It is very amazing. So can I ask, uh, how did you come up with this idea and what is the rationale behind the model? Yeah, sure. So the reason we decided to use a large language model for target discovery is because it has shown uh, the to be quite effective in recognizing intricate patterns inside of the text. So the goal when we identify the novel targets is pretty similar. We want to uh, have to identify the connection between the protein and the disease. So we decided to test the hypothesis that LLMs could help us uh, in this task. Especially it's important, I think, in aging research because aging process is uh, multi-phased uh, and uh, have multiple players within it. The approach is based on BioGPT that we enhanced with additional uh, text or fans. And then the approach itself is pretty straightforward. We first give BioGPT an unfinished sentence or prompt that's related to the aging. Uh, for example, it was the, the gene that's related to aging is, and then ask LLM to finish this prompt. Uh, but instead of extracting only a name of one gene, we actually extracted the probabilities of each gene to be in this position, to be the last word of this sentence. Uh, this way, we were able to rank all of the genes and extract the top ones as a possible targets. So this approach is very flexible and actually it could be used to different applications when the ranking is needed. I agree with you. So hopefully we can apply the same model uh, of course, with some modifications to do other biomedical research as well. So uh, the next question is to Anatolia. Well, yeah. uh, we know that uh, early this year, you also published a paper, uh, the Precious 
GPT on aging study. It is also a very cool paper. So compared to the Pesos one GPT, what do you think about the, about GPT's performance in aging research? And which one do you like more? Could you could we combine the two together to facilitate the aging research as well? These models are quite different, but complementary in their approach. Precious one GPT excels in analyzing raw biological data, such as expression and methylation, and uses this knowledge to predict disease status. However, it's limited to the experimental omics data we provide. In contrast, BioGPT relies on text data, mainly research papers, to infer and generalize information. It processes data from papers and leverages its large language model capabilities to assist researchers. Together, they cover different aspects of agent research and complement each other in their respective fields. I appreciate both models equally. We are powerful tools that can help uh, researchers navigate the vast amounts of data encountered in modern research, both in textual and omics form. Each model has its unique strengths and contributes to our understanding of age and age-related diseases. Uh, by combining strengths of process 1GPT and BioGPT, for example, we can generate new hypotheses using omics data and then consult BioGPT to find supporting evidence uh, in the existing scientific literature. The, this synergy can accelerate the discovery process and lead to breakthroughs in agent research. Thank you, Anatolia. It's great to hear that we can combine the two tools to have the synergy effects. So, uh, Jeffrey, the, the next question is to you. So, uh, you know, we published some papers on the AI-driven target discovery, especially for the dual-purpose targets for aging research as well. So, uh, how does the current study add value and relates to our previous works? Um, the combination of multiple models, including OMS data and test-based um, data, um, to identify ta targets um, in age-associated diseases and aging. And this model um, <clears throat> um, used the dual-purpose targets from a different perspective um, that is completely driven by um, the last language model and without the use of uh, multi-omics data. So uh, in this case, we don't have to um, um, select the data set ourselves. And by comparing the two sets of targets prioritized uh, by both methods, uh, we may find some overlaps of the targets um, to support our model and our uh, prediction. And uh, what will be interesting is we may find some targets that interact with, with each other. Um, so in this case, we may find um, unexplored molecular mechanisms underlying aging and age-associated diseases. Um, so in that case, we will improve the research in aging. Thank you, Jeffrey. So what will be the future directions? Diana, may I have your comment first? Yeah, um, I think the future direction for our search will be extending the scope of application of AI because with and um, because improvements of AI showed that uh, it's this models could be applied to a variety of tasks specifically in the biomedical field. So I think the possibility of AI is truly fascinating. Uh, I think future directions include improving models by incorporating more complex and powerful architectures integrate and integrating additional data modalities. As we progress towards models with deeper understanding of biological system, we will definitely uncover new applications for generative AI. Eventually, we may reach a point where, where we can simply ask a model to modify a biological system in desired direction or just create a cure for a specific disease and receive the answer in plain text. In aging research particularly, I think it may be um, interesting and promising to use um, for identifying some repurposing drug candidates. So possibly they are FDA approved, we may use this model to prioritize or um, to screen for the compounds um, that could potentially uh, be related to aging and other age associated diseases. So, um, and then we can further and investigate and study those compounds or drugs. I'm sure it is clear that our collective efforts are advancing the AI-driven target discovery for aging research, and let's continue to collaborate and drive the innovation in healthcare.